Today we're going to talk about another situation that consultants and service providers face in their business. And that is when your client asks you for a product or service that you normally don't offer in your business. How do we handle that? You're getting ready to find out. When you're making a decision whether or not you should take on this new project, there are a few things that you should ask yourself. One of the primary ones being, is this project or service going to hurt my business overall if I take on this particular project? That question should be asked before you consider anything. The first question you should ask yourself before you say yes to this new project is not how much am I gonna get paid? That's important, but that's not the best question to hang your decision on. Instead, the first question should be, does this product or service complement something that I am already offering? in my business. There are a few reasons why you want to ask this question, so let's get into them. The first reason is you could use your product or service as an upsell or downsell to this new product or service and get more money from that particular engagement. The goal there is a higher long-term client value, and that's an easy way to make more money from one particular transaction. Another issue you may want to consider is how is this going to impact your existing operations? What I mean by that is, are you really going to put yourself out with that? Is it going to stop production of something else in your business that you have to get out for another client? Or maybe it's something that you're doing to market and promote your business that you're going to have to stop as well. All these things should be considered and when and more before you say yes to this particular project. So let's get into the rest of the things that you should be asking yourself before you say yes. Second question to ask, do you have the resources for this? Meaning, do you have time on your hands? Can you do it? Can you pay someone else to do it? Is this project in line with something else that you're already doing? If this project is something you can just fold in then by all means, of course, go for it. Get that upsell, get that downsell, you know? But if it's something that you're going to have to stop, put together a new set of processes for just to get it done, then you may want to take that into consideration. And you definitely want to make sure that you are going to be able to put the time, effort, and resources in to give this project 120%. If you are ever in a position where you feel like taking on the project is going to cause you to deliver a low quality product or service, just say no. That will hurt you in the long run more than anything else. Next question you should ask yourself, how much money are you going to make off of this project? Not what they're going to give you for the project. After you take away the costs associated with building, designing, creating, delivering, that product or service, what do you have left? If that number looks great to you and all other things that we've considered so far are in line, then jump on it. If not, I would let it go. Next question, is this something that you're considering offering in the future? The reason why I ask this is because if you're considering offering this in the future, then by all means, you should take the time and build the processes around it and execute this project to the best of your abilities to give this customer an excellent client experience. In addition, while you are putting this project together, you could also have things going in place to help you get the marketing and promotion around this new product or service that you're going to be offering going forward in your business. This will also help you with firming up the pricing and all those good things that you may not necessarily know at the beginning of the project. The final question you need to ask yourself, do you know how to do this at an intermediate level at least? The reason why I ask that is because if you really don't know how to do this particular thing and you have not taken the time to research what goes into delivering this particular product or service, then one, you're gonna have a lot of surprises. Some of them you'll be able to weather without a problem. Some of them could possibly bring 
your business to a halt. When you're taking on these new products or services, before you even begin, before you say yes, you need to take a moment to go out and research and find out exactly what is required to create and deliver this product or service to your client. This is important because we have a responsibility to our existing clients that we built a relationship with to deliver a product or service that is quality and going to help them grow their business. If you are unable to do that, then take the time to refer them to someone who will. Your clients trust you because they've been doing business with you and that's why they've come to you first. Consider that flattery because it is. That means they have a high level of trust and respect for your work. Those were the five questions you need to ask yourself before you take on that product or service that you normally don't offer in your business. So let's go over quickly what they were one more time. Number one, is this product or service going to help your business or is it going to cause problems? Number two, do you have enough services available to deliver this new product or service at a high level? Wow. Number three, will taking on this project help you with a great ROI? And guys, an ROI is not necessarily financial. Financial is one area, but also it can help you as far as furthering your reputation in your particular community or within your industry or help you establish yourself as an influencer. There are a lot of different ways to calculate your ROI. And I went over how to do it from a financial standpoint in the podcast itself. So go back and listen if you haven't done so already. Take some notes. Next tip. Is this something that you're going to offer in your business going forward? If you believe that this is something that you're thinking about offering in your business, but you're not sure, you're on the fence, then by all means, take on this project and give it a whirl and see how it impacts your existing business. And our final tip for today, do you know how to deliver that project at an intermediate level at least? If the answer is no, you either want to take the time to do a quick tutorial and get yourself up to speed, or you may want to pass on that project. And again, that just depends on exactly where you are, your abilities, your capabilities. The answer is going to vary for each individual situation. So guys, with that being said, I suggest you write these questions down and ask these questions every time you're offered a project that is not necessarily in your wheel. I have a guide to help you build your processes and I want to invite you to pick up a free copy today. Guys, I will put that link in the description for you to click it as well. Thank you for your support. And if you got value out of this podcast today, I encourage you to invite your friends, family, or anyone that is running a small business to join us every Tuesday. We have a new episode, so please subscribe. Let everybody know. And I want to thank you for your support. My name is Tamara Corporal. I am the CEO of Acu Figures here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we are a digital consulting firm that helps consultants and small business owners deal with situations such as process development, online web presence builds, video editing, and so on and so forth. So thank you for your time, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday.